Hey guys, Katie Deering here, and I wanted to share with you a great, great book that is starting to really get momentum um, on Twitter and the literary communities. I'm seeing it everywhere. It's called Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Lytic Smith. So Hearts Unbroken just recently won the 2020 American Indian Youth Literature Award, and it is a fantastic book. Basically, the protagonist, her name is Louise. She is um, a high school student, and she goes by Lou. Um, and so she's new to the community. She starts dating this um, ultra jock named Cam and um, has all these different people groups in her life. Like she has her intertribal community, her best friend Shelby, her great relationship with her parents, um, and her brother Huey. And so um, I want to read you an excerpt and then I'm going to talk just a little bit more about some things about the book because it's really, really good. Um, so this is the very beginning of the book after um, she's at a prom brunch with Cam and his family, and he's just voiced that his mom is really upset with his brother about um, getting engaged really quickly. So, your mom will get over it, I said, as long as Andrew's happy. I don't think so. The girl's a Kickapoo Indian, so, you know. She works at a coffee shop on Massachusetts Street in Lawrence. We got in line for the carving station, so I know that she's a barista. Let's be real, Cam replied. She probably took one look at Andrew and saw dollar signs. Why else would she be working at a place like that if not to hit on college guys? I maintained a conversational tone. Why would she be working at a coffee shop? Off the top of my head, I'd say it's convenient to where she lives, or she enjoys interacting with the public, or she believes in the power of caffeine. Maybe she's putting herself through college. Mom says kickapoo sounds a lot like a dog, like cockapoo or peekapoo. Get it? I got it. The three senior couples ahead of us in line for beef were chatting sororities, fraternities, Russian legacies. Cam joined in their Greek alphabet soup of conversation. Meanwhile, my native identity appears nowhere on his radar. So Lou is a Native American, and she is really struggling through um, the fact that Cam doesn't really seem to understand why what he said is really offensive. And so throughout the book, she gets involved in the journalism class with the school newspaper, The Hive, um, and she is kind of hashing through lots of different pieces. Her brother Huey is in a musical, and uh, there's a whole storyline around that with several uh, people of color being cast in the musical and the controversy of the town around that. Um, and then she makes friends with this guy named Joey, who she has an instant connection with. And so um, if you like romance, there's a lot of romance here in the book, um, a lot about Lou and just kind of navigating her feelings for different people and relationships. Uh, there's a lot about identity in here, but it's not necessarily the central focus of the story, which I really, really like. Um, it's really showing that through the lens of just daily life and daily interactions, how your identity affects interactions that you have with people, which is really cool. And it, uh, one of my favorite recurring things about the book is it really looks at when you're asked to do what's right, how that's very, very difficult and sometimes even feels like an impossible task. But um, navigating how different characters in the story, what's right for them looks different from person to person and how they react to people's hate or bigotry or judgment. So um, definitely recommend this for classroom library shelves if you like all of those things. Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Lattic-Smith.